Glad you stopped in on your way downtown. So am I now. But I really want to ask your opinion about some new frocks I'm buying this afternoon. What do you think of the new long gown? Well, I... Oh, pardon me. There's the bell. Natalie, when did you get back? Hello, darling. I'm so glad to see you. I wanted to surprise you. Here's the answer to your fashion question. Miss Kingston's just returned from Paris. Natalie, you know Laura Lane. Yes, certainly. We've worked together many times. Natalie, do tell us about the new long gowns. I'm just on my way to shop for some. Really? Perhaps you'd like to hear about Monsieur Jacques on the Rue de la Paix? We'd love to. I hope these four models we've selected for you, Miss Kingston, will prove suitable for your next picture. This French printed chiffon promised to be the most popular and most becoming garments in Madame's spring wardrobe. This Chanel adaption features the molded hip line and the new capelet, which when removed, changes the model from a charming afternoon frock to a stunning dinner gown. The new color combination, red and green, predominate here. This princess model is a patu adaption and introduces three important aspects of the mode. The removable sleeve jacket, the high waistline effect gained by a narrow buckle belt, and the full goddess skirt with appliqued pointed insets. The French chiffon used here is hand blocked in the bizarre color combination of black and green. A lovely lace dinner gown in a delicate green shade. Paris predicts that lace will be the most correct medium for the semi-formal gowns this spring. This graceful model also features the high belted waistline and the long sweeping skirt. This is the most stunning model in the Maggie Roof collection. And now, a smart tailored suit for spring. This yellow cashmere tweed is set off by bits of black piping about the collar and cuffs. A tuck-in blouse of flat crepe is trimmed with a deeper yellow shade and black. The well-fitted coat and skirt are relieved by the use of godet, which gives the new flared effect. So you see, Monsieur Jacques, really lovely things. They sound marvelous. And we really have to wear the long skirts and the high waistline. Well, I'm afraid if we want to appear smartly gowned and in the heights of fashion, we'll just have to. That's all. For formal morning sportswear, Miss Claire Windsor dons this three-piece flat crepe suit in the new red shade, Chili. The jacket is belted at the natural waistline. The blouse is a tuck-in, while a draped scarf of print material completes the costume. For luncheon and afternoon shopping, Miss Windsor suggests a flat crepe frock of this type. This Maggie Roof adaption in Miami beige is a silhouette design with a flared skirt and a natural waistline. The V&A neckline with a self bow is smart, and the new elbow length sleeve with a circular flounce is used. A buckle of brilliance enhances the belt line. Here, Miss Windsor wears a black flat crepe two-piece model, which is smart for matinee wear or afternoon tea. The lines of this gown are very graceful and flowing while the ankle length flared skirt and molded hip line are very new. The removable blouse jacket is lined in white and the bolero blouse, also of white, is charmingly decorated with hand faggoting. Now Miss Windsor models the latest thing for evening wear, an adaption of a Jane model in black crepe Maruvia. Note the extremely long skirt with its longer panel on one side and its smart peplum. The gay half bolero effect is used falling from the right shoulder. Also, no new square neckline. The left shoulder reveals a narrow strap held in place by brilliant rings which add finesse to this stunning costume. Mm -hmm. 